these are delicate precision instruments and they're quite expensive so it's important to take care of the microscopes in the lab. With the proper care they should last something like 30 or 40 years. Uh, they are used by a lot of different students, they're communal tools so um, it's everybody's responsibility to take care of the microscopes to make sure they're in, in nice working order. Um, just be aware that accidents do happen, um, they're unavoidable and so if they do happen, if something breaks then just let us know uh, and we can fix them up. Don't just put them away in the cupboard. Um, <clears throat> The microscopes, it's important to put your microscope nice and close to the power source and to where you're going to be working. Don't try to drag this microscope around because there's rubber stoppers on the bottom and it'll shake the instrument and some of the um, parts may get out of alignment. So if you do want to move it then uh, pick it up and actually move it around. Um, the power cord plugs into the power source obviously. The USB cord from the camera, I just leave that right there. Um, you can see that there's blue tape around the camera cord. Um, this is quite delicate and we've found in the past this is where uh, the cameras are breaking. So leave the USB cables there and just attach it to the USB cable that's uh, coming out the back of the computer. Just like that. <clears throat> Just leave that cable, um, yeah, because the cameras are quite expensive as well, and it's it's hard to fix. The lenses also are um, quite delicate; um, they get dirty from time to time, and you should uh, avoid touching them. But if they are a little bit dirty, then you can clean them with lens cleaning tissue. Don't clean them with normal uh, normal old tissues that you wipe your nose and your face with. They are a little bit um, different to the lens cleaning tissues. We'll have them out whenever there's microscopes out. Um, <clears throat> when you go to store these things away, it's important that you pack them up in the right um, confirmation. So um, just make sure you take your specimen off. Um, it's quite obvious here on the dissection scope, but it's a little bit harder on the uh, compound scope. Often people leave microscope slides in there so just be aware to take your specimen off. Um, take your specimen off, unplug from everything um, and then drop the microscope head down as far as possible by screwing down the focus. Wrap the cord around the arm so it won't be flopping all over the place when you go to put it away and just double it over there. Then get your dust cover to make sure this um, stays nice and clean. There's a couple of different um, additional things that you need to worry about with the compound scope. Um, <clears throat> there's four objective lenses here. You can see that um, they're poking down these silver tubes here. Um, avoid pulling them around by the lenses. There's a black dial here. It's much better um, for the microscope. It'll last a lot longer if you turn it using this big rubber dial. Um, the other thing is, um, of course, you've got to carry the scope with two hands whenever you're moving it around. There's a handhold right here underneath and a handhold at the back here. Turn it, you can see that there. The other thing that you should worry about um, is when you go to move the, the stage around, so you're moving your specimen around on the stage, use these ma manipulator controls here to move your sample back and forth. Don't grab the stage and move it because the um, it's precision instrument in there, it's, it's going to get damaged if you keep doing that. One last thing, um, when you're putting these microscopes away, um, remember, always, two hands. Carry them with two hands. But when you get to the cupboard, um, you've got to park them at an angle. Notice how they're sort of sitting a little bit at an angle. Um, that's because whoever made the cupboards didn't make them deep enough. So if you park them straight, then the, either the cord will get damaged or the eyepieces will get damaged. So just make sure you just put them at an angle.